Let's get it started, guys. Happy Wednesday. We're gonna do some reverse lunges with our arm circles. We made it. Recovery Wednesday couldn't have come at a better time, especially after yesterday's Tabata of Doom. So today won't be too crazy. It'll be a short one, just 12 minutes, and then we'll spend about, I think it's close to 20 minutes stretching it down. It's gonna be fabulous. All right, we'll reverse the direction of the arms. Start out small, we'll gradually grow the arm circles. In our nutrition lesson today, guys, stick around, this is a good one. This is probably the single biggest change I made to my diet was based off of the information I'm gonna share with you today. So definitely wanna stick around and at least take a look at it. Into our bobbies. We'll go up and down. All right, I'll be honest, Sunday night, I'm like, you know what, this is my last chance to drink alcohol. So I, I went for it, not anything crazy. But today is the first day I'm really feeling good. Getting back into the good sleep habits, the diet on point. Hope you guys are feeling pretty good as well. I'll shake it off. Reach down to the floor, we'll get a little double pump, and then reach up to the sky. We'll go for about 30 more seconds. You can do these how you like to do them and at your own pace. I like to add a hop. Again, this hinge warmed up, the hammies, the glutes. Just a few more of these. Let's go one more. And we'll get into our bird peckers. To further hit the hammies and start to get into the quads a little bit. Ooh, find that balance. Get that good stretch. Let's go one more per side. We'll send one leg back, drop your hips down. And move those hips around. We're gonna press back into downward dog. Hang on just for a moment. And then we'll set the other foot forward, drop the hips down. And we'll open up this side. And we'll switch back, pressing into downward dog on the way over. And we'll switch, press into downward dog. Every transition, hit those shoulders and switch. All right, let's go continuous motion for about 20 seconds, just switching from side to side as you wish. Ready, begin. All right, and we'll stand it up. We'll go wide with the legs. We'll sit into our lateral lunge. And we'll switch to the other side. And switch. Got my new Christmas socks on. My feet have been getting cold, so these are perfect. And switch. And now we'll go continuous motion for about 15 to 20. And we'll 
Oh, standing up. Getting into some trunk twists. Ooh, the money cracks. There they are. In the windmill. And we'll bring it up and we'll do our side dancer reach. Big reach over the top with that upper arm. And other side. And we'll breathe back. And other side. Both hands up and do our TikToks. And guys, I know you've been asking about L. He's been sleeping in. Uh, but <laughs> he's also been doing his own workouts that have he's done a hundred burpees the past few days in a row just to maintain his conditioning but he's he is looking to join us again pretty soon all right and we'll reach out to the floor and i'll reach up and back whenever he gets to sleep schedule back under control and we'll do two more and last one And let's push the hips forward and we'll send them around. Old man surfers and we'll reverse the direction. All right, and let's drop down into our squat. I can go hands on the feet. We our bootstrapper position and we'll go butt up in the air. And then pull the hips down, lift the chest up. Butt up, butt down. Let's go continuous motion or at your own pace for about 15 seconds and begin with the bootstrappers. And we'll meet back in the bottom of the squat. Both hands down. Rotate left hand up. Down and we'll stand up. We'll go about 30 seconds, guys, switching sides. Go ahead. At your own pace here. You can get that twist in your upper body to loosen up the trunk. So been looking forward to this day and all the stretching. All right, let's do one more per side. All right, and now we'll press into downward dog and we'll gently shift our way from side to side. And we'll lean forward to plank. Lean over the edge. We'll do a push up. We're gonna do an ankle tap. So bring one hand back. Opposite ankle. There's one. We're doing five more for a total of six. Alright, we're done with your six. We're going straight into two. Five dive bombers, vegan. And loosen up the spine. While we're also priming our chest and shoulders. Get ready for the day's pressing. Ah. When you're done, you can stand up, shake it out, and we'll get into some jumping jacks for the remainder of this warm-up. Ten more seconds. And rest, shake it out. Okay. So we've got ahead of us. 12 minutes of straight work, 
bring as much intensity as you want to any of the movements. I'm gonna try and hit it hard because it's just a 12 minute workout today. And then we're gonna spend most of our time getting a nice, long, thorough stretch down. So we're gonna start with jumping jacks in five seconds. Two, one, and jumping jacks. Cruise right here. At 30 seconds left, we're gonna pick up the pace, okay? That's it, 10. All right, picking up the pace in two, one. Let's go one notch faster. We'll pick up the pace again in two, one. One more notch, turn it up. This is one more bump in speed for the last 10 seconds. In two, one, and let's go. All right, next up, we're going straight into triple squat burpees. We'll do this first rep together. We're going to do a burpee. Three squats. Three, three back into our burpee. And keep going. First, the first time it's understanding, that counts as one rep. You ask me how we got here, cause you don't know how you say we're taking on water, yeah, we're sinking now. You're looking all concerned, like we're going to drown. We've got seamless transitions, going one movement directly into no the next. As we'll fall. Let's take it slow. Where you go, I go. Cross tracks coming up. And if you In hit the bottom, I'm going down with Two, you. Let's one. Take it slow. And cross tracks. Who cares where we gotta be? You know you'll have a good time wherever you go. And I'll post a preview of the movement that's coming up in the last 10 seconds. If you don't know what it is. Maybe you can work a little harder and then just do the next movement in the last 10 seconds for a transition. I know I'm not easy. I drag you out your mind. And there are days I hate you, but baby, you're still mine. Let's bring up the pace. The last 20. Before we start our burpee jacks. Very much like a regular burpee. We had a little jumping jack at the top. Starting at five. Two, one. Your burpee. Jumping jack. You guys know the deal. Jacks. Coming up next. One. And here's how you do it. You out. Oh, sorry. Back clap, Jacks. Back clap. I can read it. It was so small. Back clap, Jacks. The out and up, Jacks. Those are coming up soon. So clap behind your back. Good for opening up the chest and the shoulders. this out guys the pure conditioning in today's workout
single leg skater burpees. Coming up in eight seconds. Two, one, you go skater. So you can go down and up, staying on one leg the whole time. If you wanna use two, that's fine as well. If you wanna make it harder, you can do a strict push up in there. Up. Ten more seconds. We're going to get in or out up jacks. One, two, out up jacks. Go out, up, out. We got a boost on the up. Forty more seconds. Bulldog, high jumps coming up next. In two, one, the bulldog knees hover and jump up. And repeat. Keep going. Coming up next. I can do it. Here we go. Two, one, and switch legs. Oh. Okay, I think I did it. Double lunge. Burpees coming up next. One, you lunge, lunge, burpee. I have been feeling something. Where have you been? I can't wait to see you again. Let the moment pass forever But you always want to go there 
Now do lateral kick through that. And there's just one push up involved for a burpee. Coming up. All right, so you go down, push up, kick through one side, kick through the other, stand up and clap. Start with the push up, kick through, kick through, up and clap. One more movement next, guys. So we finish the workout. And crouching tiger burpee. Go down, push up. Crouching tiger, push up. And up and clap. Push up. Crouching tiger. Good guys, nice home stretch. Alright, turn it up, 20 seconds. Empty the tank here. for a full minute guys. We got our active stretching coming up next. All right guys, make your way to standing. Our forward lunge stretches, active stretches, to help us loosen up the hip flexors, get closer to that center split or front split. So big step with the left foot forward, two, one, and lower your hips down as you squeeze this back glute and straighten the back leg. Weight in the front heel. Now straighten that back leg a little bit more, squeeze your right glute, and see if you drop a little bit lower. We're going just 30 more seconds here, guys. Strain that back leg, squeeze that glute. Hips down just a little more. And hold. Hold right here, 20 seconds. Keep this nice and tight. You can poke it to make sure that, that glute is engaged. It's gonna help this relax and get a deeper stretch. Okay. Oh. All right, it feels like the work ain't done yet. Now we're gonna step forward with the right foot now. Starting at 15 seconds. Oh, still catching my breath. All right, big step forward, big lunge. Really, really broad step here. Going two, one, straighten the back leg. Squeeze your left glute and press yourself deep in this lunge. We'll go through that sequence again. Straighten the back leg, squeeze this left glute, and when you squeeze, you can push yourself deeper into the lunge. We'll do two more. Straighten the back leg, squeeze the left glute, lower down even further. And last one, and we'll hold. Straighten, squeeze, 
push yourself lower and we'll hold. Hold it right here. Do this nice and tight. Eight more seconds. Ah. Our hips are gonna feel like magic when we're done, guys. So now, we're gonna do our low good morning squat, I believe I call it. Deep squat good morning, there's the name. So you go wide with the legs, and the goal here is to pull the knees out hard to the side by activating your glutes. Start to pull those knees out. Hips back, as far as you can get them, and sink them down. All right, so knees pull back into the body. Pull those knees out hard to the side. There you go, keep actively pulling them out. Put our chest up tall. Push back a little bit further. Pull those knees out harder. So you feel like your feet are rolling out. The ankles are rolling out. You're pulling that hard with the knees outside. Hips back a little further. Knees, pull them out hard. Hard and hold. Chest up. All that weight in your glutes. Two, one. Ah. That's one round. We're gonna go through one, one more round. Ooh. All right. So step four with the left foot. How low can you go this round? Big step forward. Let's get positioned and ready. We're going in five. Really broad step here. Two, one. Straighten the back leg. Squeeze your right glute. And have that press you down. Ideally, you want a straight line from the back heel through the knee, hip, into that front knee. Straight line. I know I'm not there yet. Straighten that back leg. Squeeze the right glute. Hips down a little bit lower. Hold it right here, 20 more seconds. Keep this nice and tight. Focus all right here. Knees slightly behind that front ankle, weight in this front heel. 10 seconds. Oh, okay. All right. In deep into these hip flexors. All right, same thing for our right leg forward. Let's get into position. Really broad step here. We're going in two, one. Straighten the back leg. Squeeze your left glute and lower. So again, straighten. Squeeze that left glute and have that press you down further. One more, straighten the back leg, maybe even more. Squeeze the glutes, descending further into the stretch. 20 seconds left, let's do one more good one. Straighten the back leg, squeeze that left glute, and we're low now, embracing the stretch. This tight. Take out the legs. Still, still got our deep squat, good morning. This is all about activate your glutes by pulling your knees out to the side. That's where it is. Don't do this one facing. So hips way, way, way back, as far as you can get them. Pull your knees out to the side hard and sink your hips back and down. Now lift your chest up, feel that tension in your lower back when you lift the chest up. Right here, nice and tight. Now actively pull those knees out to the side, even harder. Feel it open right here. Hips back a little more. Pull those knees out harder and allow your hips to sink down when you pull the knees out. 
actively pulling out hard with the knees. Using those glutes to pull them out even further. 10 seconds. Just up tall. Two, one. And shake out the legs. Let's start with, actually we're gonna go into the squat. We go down into the squat, guys. Whew. Let's get comfortable here. You know, feeling some tension in the ankles. You kind of rock around, try to loosen things up. Alright, and let's go. Both hands down. Then rotate left hand up. Place it back on the ground, and same thing on the other side. There's two reps. Let's go for 10. And 10. When you're done, we'll meet right back here. And let's do this one next. We're gonna press our left knee out to the side with the left palm. So press it out to the side. So you can lock out that elbow. Just allow the hips to sink down with gravity. Over 10 seconds. And we'll roll to the other side. Now with the right hand, so you can lock it out. Look at that right elbow. Hold for 10 seconds here. When you're done, back to center. Three, two, one, and we'll stand it up. Oh, geez. Hips, press them forward, send them around any direction. Get our old man surfers in. Oh, there we go, loosen up the hips and reverse the direction. All right, and let's bring it to the ground. We'll stretch out the gluteus. Press back in downward dog first. Shifting your hips from side to side. Pressing through the shoulders. Let's go left knee forward. Spin the foot. And we'll sit up tall here. Let's hang out here for about 20 seconds. We got a little more time to spend in each of these positions. Since it's Wednesday after all. Oh, the glutes are torn to shreds. Let's go 30 seconds here in Sleeping Pigeon. Our safe haven. Gotham, this is, you're safe. Press back to downward dog and we'll pedal out the feet. And now let's bring the right knee forward. 
Bend the foot. And try to sit tall in the Emperor Pigeon. Whew. The body is tight today. All right, we'll try to see here 20 seconds. Ten more seconds. Oh, I had to pray my way through that one. I'm not getting much relaxation. Let's lay it down. These, those glutes are so tight and sore today. Let's go for 30 seconds here. Try to relax. back to the right ankle, pressing through the right shoulder, to the forehead through the window here, hold, hold for 15. All right, and we'll switch to the other side, pressing, pulling your head through. Hold for 15. If we could frame this night, cause all our best friends are coming along. Take a picture of the sky and wave the sun. A last goodbye. Goodbye. It ain't easy as a lie. We have the best. Three, two, one. And we'll bring it down to hands and knees. And let's lift the chest up. And exhale, we'll round. And three more, inhale, or four more, sorry. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Last one. Alright, and we'll shake it out. Dig your toes in, pick your knees so they're hovering just off the floor. Step through with the right foot. We're going hips up. We're going to reach our hand up and over into our matrix stretch. We'll hold for five. And three, two, one, and we'll switch to the other side. Hips up, reach your arm up and over the top. Hold for 15. Take a picture of the sky and watch the sun be rising high. So high. This is us and we're together. Share this memory. Three, two, one. Oh, we'll bring it down. Bring your feet to the front. We'll fold forward. We'll grab our toes. Or just reaching forward, we'll fold. We'll rock from side to side. And hang out here for a little bit. Now grab your left leg, tuck it behind you. Under you, and we'll lay back into that quad stretch. 
about 30 seconds. We'll relax. And let's switch to the other leg. Ooh, that felt good. Other side. Lay all the way back in, relax. For about 30 seconds again on, on this side. We'll bring it up. We'll get into our straddle. Let's go wide with the legs. And we'll reach our left arm up and over the top. You just reach it, or you can grab on your toes if you can. We'll hang out for about 30 seconds. And we'll switch it to the other side. And we'll bring it up and we'll go center pancake. And you can make your way up. We will get into our happy snail. Just kick your toes up over. You got about a minute 15 to split between here and our happy baby. And when you're ready, you can lower down to happy baby. Got about 25 seconds. And 
can hug your knees in. Nice and tight. Two, one, and extend your legs. We have our extended three minute Shavasana. You start right now. Upgrade complete. Oh, Woo, feeling loose today. All right, guys, that is it for Recovery Wednesday. Hope you enjoyed that one. If you did, you can always smash the like and subscribe. And if you want to stick around, as I mentioned earlier, this is the information that has changed my diet the most this past year. We're going to get into that right now. I'll see you guys tomorrow for Thursday's workout. Aloha. All right guys, welcome back. It is day three of our challenge and today during our nutrition session, we're gonna be covering fish. Now this chapter was the most influential to my diet personally. Before I read this, I was eating zero fish at the time. Now I'm eating fish two to four times per week. So let's go over the health benefits of fish or even more particularly, omega-3s, which have uh, tremendous health benefits. We're gonna get into it right now. So there, there are a few different types of omega-3s. I got my notes here, just so you know. There's DHA and EPA. And there's actually a third, it's called ADA, that you get from flax seeds and other plant sources. And that's very popular for vegans and vegetarians, but our bodies mostly use the DHA and EPA. And Although ADA does convert into these other forms, the conversion rate is very low, it's about 10%. So you want more, if you're relying on just flax seeds for your omega-3s, I've got some other recommendations for you down the road. 
All right, let's dig into this. Um, the benefits are very extensive in terms of overall health and cognitive performance. I'm gonna list them all off right here. Improved cardiovascular function, reduces triglycerides and high blood pressure, reduces risk of cancer, type 2 diabetes, rheumatoid arthritis, other autoimmune diseases, reduces risk of mental health, suicide, depression, and inflammation. DHA and EDA has been shown to be more effective than antidepressants even. And lastly, it can improve symptoms of ADHD in children. So the uh, inflammation is really key, reducing inflammation, one of the primary benefits of omega-3s because inflammation is shown to be a common thread among chronic diseases, especially nowadays. There's a lot of research showing that. One of the major causes of widespread inflammation is an imbalance in the ratio of omega-3s to omega-6s. And most Americans have very little omega-3s and a whole lot of omega-6s. And omega-3s you get from fish, and there are a few other sources, but primarily fish. And omega-6s come from ultra-processed junk foods that are made from refined grains and processed oils. This imbalance has been blamed for mental health problems like violent behavior, homicide, suicide, and depression. Now, who couldn't benefit from being a little bit happier on a regular basis? We all should do more to make sure we have adequate levels of omega-3s. All right, next. Pregnant women aren't getting enough omega-3s in their diet. The FDA suggests that women get two to three servings per week. That's eight to 12 ounces of fish. That has been shown to improve the cognitive performance of children. It literally makes them smarter, and there are tests to show that. Make sure you're getting your fish or that you're supplementing four omega-3s if you're pregnant but be careful if you're eating a lot of fish, you wanna make sure that you're not consuming a lot of mercury and most fish are contaminated with some level of mercury. And that's my next point. Um, prioritize the fish with high amounts of omega-3s and low amounts of mercury. The ones with low mercury tend to be smaller fish. So the ones that I eat mostly are wild Alaskan salmon and mackerel, anchovies. I just started eating those. I'm still developing a taste for it, but those are my primary ones. Very high in omega-3s, low in mercury. Now the big fish, since they're higher on the food chain, they spend a lifetime accumulating, by eating the other smaller fish, accumulating mercury. And so they're much more toxic, so much so that it kind of negates the benefits of the omega-3s that you consume. So shark, swordfish, tuna, unfortunately. I know my friends in Hawaii, you're gonna be really sad to hear that one. You shouldn't have those more than once a month. Next, make sure you're eating wild caught fish and not any of that farm stuff. So Alaskan salmon is always wild. You're, that's a safe bet right there. And the reason that you don't wanna eat the farm stuff is the same reason you don't want to uh, support these large industrial farms that raise cattle. All the same issues that exist there exist here. So overcrowding, unsanitary, inhumane treatment. These fish are literally swimming around their own feces. They're being dumped with antibiotics to prevent infection and disease from spreading. And they're often infested with parasites. Not to mention they are being fed a diet primarily of wheat, soy, corn, and processed oils like canola oil, which is not their natural diet at all. What happens with a diet heavy in those grains is it shows to raise omega-6 levels, which we already have too much of, and it even decreases the omega-3s of those farmed fish. So you're not even getting the benefits of the omega-3s from farm caught fish and you're exacerbating the issue of too much omega-6s. And lastly, for my vegan friends out there, there is the ALA, that third omega-3 that you get from flax seeds and other plant sources, 
But once again, that conversion is very low. Only about 10% gets converted to the DHA and ELA. So the solution I suggest to you is getting an algae omega-3 supplement, which has the same levels of DHA and EPA as the fish do. And actually the fish eat the algae and that's how they get their DHA and ELA. And lastly, lastly, the way my habits have changed since learning this knowledge is I've incorporated eating fish into my diet two to four times per week. Mostly I eat wild caught Alaskan salmon and I'll either throw it into a stir fry with a bunch of veggies or into my ratatouille or sometimes I'll just cook it by itself and then put on some uh, primal chicken barbecue sauce, unsweetened, all good natural ingredients and that tastes, that tastes really good. Additionally, I'll eat mackerel and anchovies and I'll throw them in with some mayonnaise and mustard and mix that up and make kind of like a, a tuna salad kind of deal and that tastes amazing. I use the Primal Kitchen Mayonnaise. There's a really tasty one that is chipotle and lime. So if you look that one up, try it out and it is delicious. All right guys, that is it for today. I hope that helps. Let me know if you have any questions, write them down in the comments below, and I'll see you guys soon. Aloha.